you can see the deadbeat escapement working here. It's always thought that Graham perfected this um, later, but it's possible that this was installed after the clock was modified when Banger left the partnership and Thomas Tompion put his own plate to cover over Banger's name. So it's possible that they worked on this escapement together um, before Graham was made a partner. So look at the massive thick back plate here and the six pillars, three on each side. It's a massive construction holding the gears into correct mesh so that there's no movement which would uh, dislodge them. So Tompion has to get the movement to make the outer dial revolve twice in a year. And you can see he has to start off with this huge wheel to move the mechanism um, because the drive is going to come through the second wheel down the shaft, which will then show the two worm drives on the front of the clock, uh, just behind the dial. So the arbor comes across to drive the worm just behind the dial to uh, then move the mechanism up. So the en other end of the horizontal shaft has the worm gear on the end with engaged with the pinion here um, to re give the reduction gear. Here you have the shaft coming up to the single start worm gear here engaged with the teeth of the dial, which in, uh, revolves twice in a year. So you can see the worm on the outside of the huge wheel in focus, and then the inside of the wheel has these four like little cartwheels with a groove, and they support the ring of the gear, which then is screwed through to the front so that the chapter ring revolves um, twice in a year.